rat or why I'm missing. They weren't into our area here. Uh, I don't see the need to interview them. We mm -hmm. could, I believe we could cut it down to, uh, what is it, High, Sh High Schwartz and Clemens, Clemens and Richter. Yes. And, uh, and, and, and Picardi. Yeah, do we, which is your yeah. Do we actually interview your yeah. Pretty much no. Yeah, I, I agree with Sean. Okay. You treat them all the same. Yep. Ask okay. them all the same questions. Sure. Okay. Uh, how do we want to proceed with that? Is there a day you two uh, have available next week? We are not allowed to interview them together unless we do it in a public forum. So it'd have people. to be one on one, right? Yeah, he either you either do it one on one, or we all have to have it in a public meeting and right. talk. Mm -hmm. So um, I do. I can talk on the day. Mm -hmm. Probably. I just gotta check my schedule. So we would each yeah. interview them separately. Or yeah, I mean, well, we, we could come up with separate 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 I mean, we could even do it on a Saturday. You want to bring mm -hmm. them all in here and have a public meeting, talk to them all, line them up, get it done. That's one way to do it. Or at your leisure, schedule time with them and have those conversations mm -hmm. individually. Which would you prefer, Miss Lisa? Do you have a preference? Days during the day, during the week, I can do any any time. Or like Sean said, on the weekend, it doesn't matter to me. How do we come up with a list of questions? Because you have to ask them each the same question. So, at what point? Do, how do we come up with our list of questions? So, it's you're going to have to make up your questions. You yeah. know, like you could, you have to figure out how how you were going to evaluate these potential. Uh, uh, vendors, mm -hmm. like square, square, square. Like, what's their, their, their rates, their years of service, their background in serving municipalities, you know, these are all mm -hmm. things that, um, you know, that might be important. Mm -hmm. Right. And as far as the questions beyond Which most that, is in their, yeah, most of it's most already it's in, in their documents. So, so Or just having the reiterating those questions to get a feel for the person that you're interacting with. Mm -hmm. Good fit. Yep. Yeah. I think it's, you know, where they uh, first on some of our concerns, you know, uh, mm -hmm. like I said, litigation, uh, planning and codes, things like, or, you know, codes, ordinances, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, big ticket items for us are they, they prepared to handle it? You know, responsiveness. Right. Do you have more than one guy? You know, the, the, the one can't make it. Like we have Rich, I think his name is, came in for Kim when he wasn't here. Do you mm -hmm. have more than one? Things like that. Uh, and I've you know, reached out to other firms as well just get a feel for them. You know, other, or uh, I should say other townships. You know, reach out to PSATs, ask them what their questions would be, what, what should we be most concerned with with it. I know that's where I got my list from. If we interview them in here, in an open forum, I assume they have time slots because they shouldn't be listening to each other's interviews. They wouldn't be participating in that. So do we, is that what you were saying about Saturdays, like schedule a time that they come in? Yeah, and it, it doesn't necessarily mean be on Saturday. We do it after, after, I mean, because of my schedule, I'm saying that I do it after, after hours mm -hmm. or on weekend, um, if they're gonna do that, bring them all in, but you still have, uh, the question is, like, you've got a time slot, maybe you have them come in, do their presentation, and, you know, ask the questions that you have, and then tell them you got, like, half an hour. Mm -hmm. gives, gives your, what you, you gives your best, and then you move on to the next one. They don't need to use the whole half hour, but, um, you know, it's just a question of, you know, keeping fair to everybody. Mm -hmm. Is this a process that gets done every year? No. Okay. Why is it being done? It was recommended that it be done periodically. I don't know the last time it was done here. I can tell you, Yergi um, Alabach, is that what it is? Yergi Alabach? They've been our solicitors for 49 years. Yeah. So. 
came in in 1974. That's when I was born, so I was surprised to hear that, <laughs> that, that they actually been around that long in our township without being turned mm -hmm. over or looking at somebody else. I don't know that we ever did. I can't say we didn't. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, but it was just recommended to us through you know, classes and things that we actually look, just to stay competitive with somebody else, too, you know. Mm -hmm. So if it helps you, Sean, if you want to do a Saturday, I don't mind doing a Saturday, lining these, these folks up on a Saturday. Or I don't mind interviewing them by myself. Anybody here want to attend? You guys have an opinion of, do you think we should do it in a public forum, the interviews? Yeah. Oh, public as um, Yeah, it would be like this. Be in and yeah. If we interview them separately outside of an open forum, we can only interview them I one thought at when a time. you said public, I was thinking the three of you together with one person at a time. I didn't know it was a like public. No, nope, it's public. public. Yeah, that's the choice. Huh? We put them through three, each one through three separate interviews, one at a time. Or we just do it here. Yeah, way, I think it would be a lot longer drawn out. And stuff, right? <laughs> if you were to, ask, if you wanted to attend and you had to ask a question, you had to ask ask that question of all three because right. they have to be treated the same way. Is my understanding. So if they each give their own presentation and they present differently, how do you hmm. ask the same question on different material that they're presenting? I mean, I've done interviews where you have a list of questions, but mm -hmm. there's different subsets, and you have to pick from that subset of questions, but you may not exactly ask the same exact question, because especially when a presentation is involved, if you're actively listening to the presentation, you want to ask questions about what they're presenting, not just some generic list that you developed before mm -hmm. you even sat down with the person. Mm -hmm. right. In that case, you would break it into two categories, questions regarding their presentation and questions that you have in general. That's how that works. So. As long as we're allowed to. Uh, we yeah. It's our interview. Yeah. Do we want? Well, you're being yeah, I guess fair, as long as the three of us are present. <laughs> the one yeah. section of the questions mm -hmm. would be in regard to their presentation. They're all getting that same opportunity. Mm -hmm. And then the second section of questions is going to be asked of all. Mm -hmm. So it can't be any more fair than that. Yeah. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't imagine that there would be anything out there that could yeah. be better than that. And I would limit the time. I mean, you don't oh, want yeah, to be we would here only all give, day. Yeah, they would, be, they would have to be limited. We can't be here all night yeah. or all day. Um, so I think what we need to do, if, are we in agreement that we should interview them in an open forum? It sounds like some of these folks would like to attend, yeah. so no need to do it twice. Oh, um, Mr. Hanson, is that what you've done in the past? So you were done separately with each person one at a time? No, we only did it once in the 12 years that I was supervisor. Mm -hmm. Was there a reason why you said that you wanted to do them separately like that? That you prefer Because you can't meet unless it's a public meeting. Your three supervisors can't be in there interviewing them under sunshine right. that's, a, that's a public meeting if the three is technically the three is can't go to lunch together right <laughs> if you want to follow the law yeah but the reason that all of Oc was around so long was what i was saying they had so many townships that you saved a fortune by them doing a lot of research for other townships and then answered the question for us so David answers it in the meeting instead of saying, well, I'll go back and work on it and let you know next month and spend seven or eight hours researching it, being billing the township where he did it for another township. And when I was around, David never charged each township separately. Whoever happened to bring the question up first normally paid for it. So you got a lot of information without paying for it. Mm -hmm. David would... David Albach is who I'm talking about, because yeah. he was the only one that came when I was supervisor. And he would answer most questions right here at the meeting, and that was the end of it. You know, there was no extra billing or anything like that. That's why I brought up the subject about do they do other townships, because yeah. that will save us a bunch of money if they do other, as long as they don't charge you for what they did for the other township. That's something, I, one of the questions I would ask <coughs> If two townships ask him the same question, are we both paying for the research? Mm 
That's the best question you can ask them. If they're, in my opinion, legit, they won't charge you if they already know the answer. Some law firms will. Okay. That's a good question. I mean, that would be one of the questions I would ask them. Mm -hmm. I like the public forum idea because it's, it achieves two things, transparency and it's a lot more efficient for you guys, is it not? But yeah. I'd like to hear maybe what the disadvantages would be according to you guys, if you can think of it. Yeah. Well, that's why I was asking Dave why he did it individually versus the other. Mm -hmm. so, uh, we did not have a lot of these type meetings then. We had two meetings a month. Mm -hmm. uh, most supervisors came every day. We had a look at the mail every day. We didn't have a township manager when I was, we had one person like you here as the secretary, the township managers did it, the township supervisors did everything. Yeah. So we knew what was going on every day in the township. Yeah. I think that's like Upper Southford, they don't have a township manager. No, nah. mm -hmm. never had we had one person in the office and two people in the road crew. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about them, Miss Kate? Great. <laughs> <laughs> do it all, right? <laughs> Now, things are much more complicated now. You yeah. couldn't do it now. But back then, you know, we have no more roads than we had then, and we had two road crew forever, and everything got done. Yeah. But, you know, the paperwork now will bury you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think we need to reach out to the, the three. four. We probably need to tell Kosloff, Stout, no that we move forward with three others. Um, and the reason we're not including them is we think it's important to have a, um, a solicitor that has surrounding experience with neighboring townships. Um, and their rate was higher too. Um, and then the other three, we need to get some days that work for them, right? I mean, because this is gonna be a scheduling issue. Nightmare. I think we need three half hour sessions, probably give a five or 10 minute buffer between each so that just in case something runs yep. a little long. Um, so we need two, a two hour window, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, shoot for next Saturday at 10, 10 a.m. Let's see if they can, see if they can slide it in. We'll check, we'll check the schedule. But you're good with evening and two? You're good after six, Sean? Yeah. Because I would be fine with evening. We might be, we might be hard getting, what's that, the 16th? Yeah. I am open. Me too, me as well. I'm, I'm available then as well. So I'm okay with the 16th. But you might want to ask them if they have a preference of evenings versus weekends. Yeah. And what did you say the time frame in between all of them was? You want like a half hour? I would give 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So a half hour for their, pre their interview plus 10 minutes after that. Ten, yeah, or 15. That's easy. Because then we can schedule them on the 15 minutes. Yeah. Beginning around 10 a.m. if it works for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was If it doesn't work for any of them, ask for three times that do work, and maybe we can see what does. Any evenings, or mm -hmm. I mean, you can come in during the day too. Before my class, my schedule is probably the most flexible, so <laughs> I will not be the rope. <laughs> I'm sorry. Except the end of the month. during the week at like four or five or six. Or it, yeah, it doesn't matter. Said after six. Sean's after, Sean, you're after six. six. So. And I could do that normal? as well. So it doesn't Most matter to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they don't all have to be in one day. It can just be one comes in this day or you have two on Saturday and then one comes in on Tuesday or something. I feel like it'd be it. best to do together because I think mm -hmm. if people are going to try to attend, they'd like to see all three oh, of them, and that would be fun. I'm just saying, scheduling. scheduling. Do you have yeah. time to advertise the meeting by the 16th? Isn't there limits on advertising a meeting before the township has it? 24 hours. Is that all it is now? Pretty sure. What about, do you I'm have to advertise that in the newspaper? 
Excuse me? Do we have to advertise that in the newspaper or just online? No, it's the same as our public sure. meetings. It's 24 yeah, hours. I think you, you might want to look into that even with your public meetings. 24 hours to post the minutes or the agenda. The agenda. But the time frame, Dave's right, it's, it's, it's I think it's um, like three days, two days or three days or something like that. Well, right. if it's for next Saturday, hopefully we'll have an answer tomorrow or the next day. I'll, I'll talk to Ken. Yeah, yeah that would so be a week next week. week and and a special and meeting. Then. Yeah, because it would give us five days. Yeah, I think it would be fine. Be I'll, I'll reach out to you guys tomorrow with more information. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, all right. So it's Swamp Creek Stump, potential date. Parks Board is recommending May 11, 24 as the date to hold the Swamp Creek Stump. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Mary. Uh, Chairman and Park and Rec Board. Um, for those of you who don't know what the Swamp Creek Stomp is, it's a 5K trail run that we've done for many years. Um, we didn't do it for a couple years, obviously, because of COVID. Um, we did do it a year, one year after that, and, and then last year there was some, we couldn't do it. Um, but we'd like to try and bring it back this year. Um, the reason it's on the agenda tonight is because it, it, we didn't have a date picked out prior to the uh, reorganization meeting. And um, we were actually, we were waiting for our timing people to kind of give us some recommendations because we've always kind of gotten stuck with pretty bad weather when, we, when we've done it. Um, so they, they suggested um, this date. Um, there's not a lot of races going on at that time, so we might have a better draw then, and it'll give us some more time to hopefully have some better weather some, some years we're fighting snow, some years we're fighting a ton of rain. Yep. Um, so it's, it's a unique, uh, it's not an average 5K that you run on the street, it's all trail. We have several stream crossings uh, across the, tr the Swamp Creek, um, it's pretty pretty big. Um, and then there's a bunch of muddy areas, some hills, it's, it's, a, it's a different 5K. Um, and we originally started doing it to raise funds to help with the maintenance of the parks and mowing and fuel and whatever. Um, so we try to get as many registrants as possible to, to raise the money. Um, but we will need, we have um, people on the park board that are volunteers that that help do all the, most of the work, but we will need help from the township staff and public works. Um, uh, they've helped in the past and um, with a bunch of different things like our, our registration forms, our waiver, uh, we make like 400 of them that we give to our timing people that they put out at all their races come leading up to it. Um, and then we send out for sponsorships, the township normally does that, um, local businesses to help, help um, bring in some more funds. Um, and you feel comfortable you can get that done in nine weeks? Well, that's what I'm saying. Weeks. We're going to need some help with from from the township staff to, to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, I think we can. I think we can do okay. it. Okay. Um, uh, and Tom, Tommy, who's on the um, public works crew, is is um, wanted to get involved with it more and help with trail clearing and things like that. Um, it's mostly single track, so it's not like a big, wide, four foot path. Um, but there's a lot of trees and limbs that come down, so we need to go through. We usually go through a couple weekends and hit them with chainsaws and loppers and what have you to, to get everything cleared out. But um, if if Tommy or some of the road crew can do some of that as well, that would be helpful for us um, to get that stuff done. So that's what we're just looking for approval um, to to do that and make sure that it's okay that the township staff and public works helps us with that. Um, we also go out there. Um, weeks leading up to it to mark the trails. Usually you go with, out there with, with an ATV and, and to get to some of the areas and our pools and things like that. So, um, and then we, we need township staff help with um, like the timing, getting the, the timing people lined up, the awards and handouts and things like that. Um, help setting up the day of. Uh, if it's really muddy, we have plywood we put down underneath the tent and then put the tent up, um, set up, tear down, all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, so that's basically.
this year for that. Mm -hmm. so. Quick question. Uh, quick question, Murray. Uh, with all the stuff that's been going on weather-wise, I know my yard and the neighborhood, there are just trees down all over the place. Do you, you go through there and clear anything like that, and do you need help with that? Yes, yes, we do go through and clear it, um, and we would need help. Yeah, we okay. welcome volunteers to, to help with that. Just clear, like, a lot of times, if there's a tree down and you can jump over it, that's great. Right. We don't touch it. We leave it there. It's a natural obstacle. Um, people like, enjoy doing that. Um, but if it's something that's impeding somebody from running, and it's, you know, it's... Little widow maker. Yeah, yeah, so that, that stuff we, we get take down. Right. Yeah. We're more than welcome to help with that for you. Okay, great, thank you. Kevin, yeah, you'll have to ask the fire police too. Oh uh, yeah, that's, uh, the fire police actually, I think that was approved at the um, route organization. Mm -hmm. But we do close Colonial Road for a few hours because we cross over Colonial and, and make a loop around the dog park at, at Spielhopper. Um, so it's usually, it's usually two hours at the most that the dog park would need to be closed, Colonial Road needs to be closed, and obviously the help from the fire police to to do that. Okay. And Public Works usually puts out the road close signs um, the, the Friday before and then the fire police put them out and close the road. Okay. Whatever we can do to help, I don't have a problem with that at all. Such so a tight window, small schedule, yeah. Any, you know, whatever you need from us, just let us know. Okay. Uh, so you're looking for people, like uh, township personnel to help out, mm -hmm. except the starting, things like that. Is that something the supervisors normally did for you guys, or? Um, yes, yes and no, not, not all of them did, but some did. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the day of the race, we need volunteers um, throughout the course um, for timing, for water stations, where there's different spots throughout the trail that um, people might need help getting up, there's a couple of hills that we have ropes at that um, if it's muddy, the people are slipping and sliding all over the place, so we need help Thank you. That, kind of, that kind of stuff. So yeah, the more more volunteers we have for that, the better. Yeah. yeah. So how do we get you volunteers? Like even if we want to volunteer, what's the best way to say, hey, I'm available, what are the tasks that you need help with? We, are they, are I, they only on the day of the race? Do you need help with, besides clearing of the Trailing. No, there would be, so we would set up some work days for clearing the trail, mm -hmm. so we could do that, and then day of the race. And what we've done in the past is, is like a sign-up genius, mm -hmm. so we could post a link on the website or Facebook oh, okay. page, or whatever, and we can list the different um, tasks. Yeah, tasks oh, okay. and people okay. can sign up for them. Great. So I don't have a problem with any of it. Give her whatever help we can give you, let us know. Appreciate um, it, thank you. I mean, that's something you've always done, everybody's always done, I don't have a problem with that. I don't think anybody will. I don't mind helping, whatever you need. Okay. Did you want to put anything in? No. Uh, community day 2024, how to proceed due to the staffing shortage. Community day preparations, added workload to the office staff, lacking staff to help organize this event uh, may be difficult. Although possible without proper staffing, should should we proceed with community day? Heck yeah, we should. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah I, uh, I don't know where did the staffing shortage come from. Just there's a lot of stuff that the township manager did in the past. Jackie did, and 